So, 3D printers. Are they worth it? Well, first, we gotta go over a couple things about that. I would say yes and no. As time goes on, yes, 100%. I think if you are in any sort of hobby, then you should definitely get a 3D printer. And soon, you know, there's several different uses for it. So soon, if you can find a use for one, why not have one? Was a printer worth having in your home? Eventually, yes, it was. But it's tough. It's not difficult to use, but it does take an adjustment to use. With a 3D printer, you're not just simply plugging a file in or putting a USB drive in there, hitting print, and then it goes. There's a lot more to it than that. Although eventually it does seem like that's all you're doing. In reality, you know, you have to sometimes play around and make your own object. You know, in Blender or other program, you have to dig through the web as you go through other people's creations, hoping to find something that might be good enough for you to use on your own. Most things are. I mean, being realistic, almost everything that I've found is pretty amazing that somebody took the time to make that, whether it be free, whether they're asking for, you know, a few bucks or a couple cents for you to have the file. Either way, it makes sense to me 100%. You know, they took their time to make that and now they're gifting it out essentially or giving somebody else the capability to grasp onto that and make it their own. I really thought I was going to have the hardest time leveling the plate on the printer. Um, I was worried that my first few prints were really going to come out sloppy. They weren't going to work. They were just going to come right off that plate. They were going to mold back into the tray and I was going to cry out of failure. Luckily, that didn't happen. I leveled it out on the first try. Uh, I have had failures printing. You're going to, no matter what. Everybody is going to have a failed print from time to time. It happens. It's 3D printing. Yeah. I would say I definitely got lucky with leveling the plate the way I did. I don't think that it is going to be an easy task for everybody that purchases one of these machines. And it makes sense, really it does. It's not super simple and depending on the surface you're doing it or where you're setting up your 3D printer, you can have a lot of problems leveling out that plate. It can also be simple like it was for me and you could get it in your first try. Lucky, right? I've printed a lot of models already. A lot of proxies for my armies, Sisters of Battle, some Votan, different things. You know, King Black Dragon from Old School RuneScape, but One Piece, Demon Fruit. It's a lot of fun, fun to use, and I just, I can't get enough of it. Uh, of course, one day I'm sure I'll be bored of it and it'll, it'll sit a little more than it is right now, but I'm pretty much printing something every day at this point, and you will too. Now, once your print completes, you're going to unscrew the locking nut and pull the whole plate off with the print on it still. You're gonna transfer that over to your washing tub. Now that goes onto the setting station. There are magnets for you to set and you just hit start. You just set the time and hit start. The magnets set themselves so there's a little fan, almost like a blender, in the bottom of that cleaning station. That is gonna spin around and rotate the fluid throughout there. I use 90% alcohol. That's pretty much what I would recommend. After it's done rinsing and it's done, pull it out of there. You are then going to take the plate over. You could use a microfiber cloth, whatever you would like. You then scrape the models off. And I like to just give them a little pat down dry. And then you set them to the side and just let them air dry for a little bit. The reason I like to do this is because you don't want to put anything moist into the UV curing station. It can weaken the final product. Then once it's ready, you're going to put it on the little plate. You're gonna switch it over to cure instead of wash, and then you're gonna set your time and hit start there. What it's gonna do is almost similar. It's going to slowly rotate the tray using the UV light to help strengthen the resin. This was really cool. I enjoy just watching this simple little task that the machine's doing for some reason or another. Maybe it's the pretty lights, you know, I'm dim or whatnot, sorry. Can't all be fucking geniuses. But it's very quick, you don't have to set it long. I usually go anywhere from 15 minutes to a half hour depending on the size of the object itself. Then that's it. Your models are ready to prime and paint or to go on a shelf, or whatever you're doing with it. It doesn't have to be a model or a miniature. It could be some object. You know, there's several different things people 3D print. Sometimes they're just tools or card dice, anything really, coins. That's the beauty of it. 
it's a 3D printer. You're making things. I was really surprised with how quickly my miniatures came out of this machine. I thought it was going to take a lot longer for prints to finish. Uh, once they came out in two and a half hours, three hours, sometimes faster than that, I was dumbfounded. I couldn't believe it. I would eventually like to get an 8K printer as well as a filament printer. Um, that way I could print out larger things, more detailed miniatures. I would love to be able to print out terrain, uh, boards, stuff like that. Really get into every aspect of my hobbies with 3D printer and of course with the savings that it brings in mind as well. I will never stop purchasing models from Games Workshop or any of the other companies out there that create these games, these miniatures, these models. Any part of the hobby, a 3D printer is an assistant. 3D printers are amazing. Why not have something that you just set, you come back to later, and you have a unit of men, or you have an army of sisters of bat. Anything that you can think of, or any game that you play, any hobby you like, you can just have it print out and assist you in gathering up a larger collection. So, 3D printers, are they worth it? In my opinion, definitely.